Hey everybody, welcome back to Harvest Moon for the Game Boy Color, where it is now winter. We're in the end game now, as much as you could probably say for this kind of game that goes on and on and on. So yes, the weather looks like it's going to be cold every day. It will snow tomorrow. Snowing is pretty much another allegory for rain in this case. It's just colder, I guess. Either way, let's pick up my kitty, so my kitty is happy, and then I'll go outside. Winter basically means no grass at all. So that's a little bit depressing. The song's also depressing. But also it's snowing right now, so technically it already rained. So there's that. So let's just get started with our usual nonsense. Just kind of feed our cows during the depressing snow music, honestly. It, it's nice, but it's kind of draining a little bit. Two more days onto delivery though, so that's that's nice. We have something to look forward to in the winter. Let's just do the brushy brushies on both of you. And then I'm gonna milk you so I can get some money's worth today. There we go, thank you. And now let's feed my chickens and make sure I get my money's worth out of them today as well. We're pretty much all set on the fodder anyway, so I don't really necessarily need to waste my time cutting grass. This is what I'm talking about, every single time. Every single time I go to do anything in the chicken coop, I get blocked. It's just really annoying. Really annoying to get blocked by them. So let's just do this and then go over here. Just pop them down. No, stay down there. Stay. I got one more to go. <laughs> there we go. It's like they, they want me to waste it. They want me to waste it, but I'm not going to let that happen. Unfortunately, even though it's snowing today, when I plant my stuff, it's going to need to be snowed over again, so... Yeah. <laughs> it gets annoying a little bit. But yeah, let's just grab the hoe, because I'm actually going to do a little bit of a different setup for winter. So let me just do this. I know which ones are not wet already, just because I could just look at it and be like, oh, hey, these ones are good. So let's just till all this, make sure that's all well and good. Not a lot of spots, because I honestly had a small farm for fall, honestly. So we just get all these down. Just a couple more. Let's see, there's not one down there. It's a little hard to tell, just a teeny bit, but I can imagine on the original Game Boy version of this game without color, that must be infuriating to tell if you were able to do that or not. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're good there. So let's go to town and start looking at what we can actually get, a flower shop. So, during the winter, we have carrots. One bag is 300. They take seven days to grow, and they give you a profit of 150. Broccoli, on the other hand, is 500. They take nine days to grow, and they give you a profit of 150. Why do they give you the same profit? They regrow in two days. Yeah, that's amazing. We now have regrowing crops again, because in the summer we had that, but... Fall kind of sucked. <laughs> but thankfully, this is also another one of those situations depending on your name. If your name has a capital letter in it, you will have carrots for this. And if you did a lowercase letter, you will have broccoli. If you had a symbol in the beginning, you have both, just like usual. So I might as well just go and buy like a decent chunk of each. So they do require a lot of attention, yes, but yeah. Harvesting many times is a fun time indeed. I'll do 10. Because yeah, that's a lot of money, but they definitely will last me. And the carrots, I will maybe do... You know what? I'll do 10 as well. Just so I have them. There you go. These carrots will go away really quickly, but otherwise, no. And as you can tell, I can't buy grass because they know that you can't do grass in the winter. They're like, yeah, don't bother buying it now, even though you might want to stockpile it. Yeah, just don't bother. Either way, while I'm here... So my idea this time around is going to be slightly different. How I had the rows made it a little bit easier for me to just go and grab what I needed to do. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something similar to that, except I'm going to make it so they are planted in this situation, where there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Makes it a little bit more lucrative when I get paid. So basically, I just take the plots I already have and just work off of that. It kind of works in my favor. But before I go any further, let me just get these few right here and here. And then I'll go in here so I can actually make some money for today. Let's just go right over here. And today is the first. So the first equals I sell one. 
And I give one. There we go. That's some of my money for the day. And in the meantime, since I don't need the hoe on me, I'm gonna grab some carrot seeds, and I am going to put the hoe back for the broccoli seeds. That looks a little wonky on there. You like barely fit it. And I'm gonna swap back over to my hands so I can just continue this situation. It's gonna look a little weird at first, but I could do some variations of it to make it so I can just kind of go in like this way. And then on this one here, I can go in on this way. So it, it's basically like a, um, I just go in, go in sort of deal, like doot, 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 like that. It'll make it maybe a little bit easier since I could just go in one row and then immediately mess that up and immediately mess that up again. There we go. I'm gonna need to grab the hoe. <laughs> I really wish this would place properly, but it, it just never does. It just never does. Never does. All right. And then go over here and then do a little bit of a boop. And then right here, boop. And then here, and here. And then right here, since it's close to the edge, I might as well just do this again for it. Thank you. It didn't really make too much money because it was just whatever money. Okay, that's another one I need. That's another one I need to fix. There we go. And do that. This here. And since this one's at the edge too, I might as well just do the same thing. So I'm pretty much just keeping the same setup for the most part, as you can kind of tell. The nighttime with this snowing though, it does actually look kind of pretty compared to the usual nighttime where it just dims the screen. This is like slightly dim, but not like totally. That's gonna look a little wonky, but it, it's fine. It's okay. I'll just make, oh, of course. It'll just make doing this a little bit better. There we go. And then right here, and then right here. And then one more right here, and here. There we go. And now for this one over here, which will just be here. Not there, I don't even know why that happens. <laughs> there we go. Here. And of course, here, and then here. Perfect. Now I can just put this back and then just start doing my farming. Even though it's like 9 p.m. at night, it, it's fine. Totally fine. Just go over here. And I'm going to need the hoe again so I can actually fix some of that. <laughs> there we go. Let's fix up my mistakes first. So right here. That doesn't look wonky. Right here. Let's see, that needs fixing right here. This is good, that's good. This is not good, so right here. And then right here. Here. I had to make sure that my setup wasn't weird there. Right there. You're good. You're good. You're good. That just looks wrong with all the spots that are already wet. <laughs> but that's fine. Got that done. It only took two hours. And then let's just grab this and work my way over. So the ones that I want to like grow faster, I'll just kind of set over in this location here. And here. And then here and here because they'll kind of go away and then it's fine and the ones that will grow less fast I'll just put in the front I got that and that and let's see how many possibilities me left one two three four five six seven eight that's eight so I might as well just do another one of these for the carrots. There we go. That'll give me just a little bit more. So then let's grab the broccoli. So right here. And here. As well as here. Here. One more here. Here. Pop. Doop. I think I might have miscounted my amount a little bit, but that's fine. I have, I can fix that, no big deal. I could just buy more later. But I kind of don't like them not being watered. So I'm gonna do it anyway, even though it's not gonna matter too much. I could just go in and just do them like this when they're not grown yet. So it does make it go a little bit faster. So just do that, do that. This one here, this one here. I don't know if I have enough time for this because it's 5 a.m. and all, but 
Especially when that happens, but <laughs> it's okay. I'll see what I can get. All right, that, that, that works. I can deal with that. But yeah, it was snowing, and now it's gonna be colder day by day. It'll be sunny tomorrow during the winter, which is totally fine. Totally fine. And then let's just go and check out everything else in the meantime. So just water my crops again. Actually, it's snowing, so I don't need to water my crops. <laughs> so that makes that easier. All right. So that's good. So I'll just grab this, and then I will put this down and do that. So now I'm ready for my cows and stuff. The nice thing about things coming up is that how to is getting close, getting very close. I'll just do the brushes that I count. I counted. So I'll talk to you really quick. You look fine today. And you have one more days until your delivery. Come on, cow two, you could do it. One more day until you're no longer Gregnant. That is a blast. I cannot wait. But first, let's get some milk for today as well. And uh, yeah, we're already done here. So let me just take care of the chickens. I think, honestly, I'm probably going to start skipping the cows and chickens stuff because it's starting to get samey on those. And especially since they're not giving me any problems anymore. I think I'm going to wrap those up and kind of skip territory as well. Especially since they keep doing this on me and it's kind of a hassle when I can't leave and I can't grab the fodder and things like that. So I think I'm probably going to save everyone's time unless some sort of development happens. For now, yeah, they're all blocking the door. So, whoops. And since everything is pretty much planted, what I could do is I can go to town and get all my stuff done. So how about I do that really quick? I just need to wait one more hour. All right, so go back to the flower shop, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna buy a couple more broccoli seeds, about four more. That way I could just plant them in that area up above. Maybe a lot of money, but it's, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. And while we're in town, what I'm thinking of doing is actually buying my third cow. It may cost 5,000 G, but I'm fine with spending that much money. So, I named one Cow and cow too. How about Moo? I'm gonna name you just flat out Moo. You know what? I'm gonna put a symbol before that. How about I give you a little bit of a heart? There we go. Now you're Moo. Perfect. Moo is a good name. Now I'll take Moo to your barn. Thank you. I wanna give my new cow that arrives someone to play with. And now since I have an extra little bit of a medium cow there, I can feed you and make you happy by talking to you. Hello, Moo, you look fine today. It's a nice addition to the barn. And I'll brush you as well. Make sure that everybody's happy. And all I really need to do now is just plant the rest of those seeds that I got. All right, I popped them down. All I need to do is just sprinkle some water on them. So as you can tell, it's pretty much once they start growing, What's going to happen is, is that I just kind of run up to one, I get stuck in there, and then I can use the sprinkler. And then on the bottom ones, I can just run down and then sprinkle that. So I kind of have like a layout that I can go back and forth and just water them. Hopefully it'll work out. For now, let's just kind of prepare for tomorrow. But first, I need to deal with the harvest price. Today is an even day, so I might as well just pop both of them into the box. There we go, and we're done here. All right, day three. Looks like it's going to be colder day by day and sunny tomorrow as well. All right. And today is going to be a special day because we have... Yeah, a baby cow is born. Let's name it. All right. For the last cow in my lineup, I think I'm going to name you... There we go. And we're all set. We have cow, cow two, moo, and milk. All ready to go. And they're all happy. Perfect farm. So let me just do this with you. 
And cow too, I know you're down here and all, but let me get some milk from you as well. And then I'll brush your butt while you're in the corner. And brush you as well. I think that caught, yep, you. As well as you. I don't know if that caught because the menu's in the way. Yes, it did. It's really cute, really tiny compared to everything else. Because that's, it means it's a calf. It's gonna take a lot longer to grow into an adult because it is a calf. Calves take 15 days to grow into a medium cow, which is what Moo is. And then after that, which what Moo is now, will take 23 days to go into a cow. So yeah, 15 plus 23 for milk to become a big cow and give us some pretty decent milk out of it. All right, and now I actually think I should start watering all these things because there's a lot to water. Thankfully, they're not gonna take as long to grow. I mean, they still take a while, but yeah, it's gonna be a little bit before this harvest happens. It's just nice to have like a full barn. But look at that, we already have some stuff growing already. That looks like really, I love the fact that I set this up so I can have this set up much easier and I immediately screw it up. <laughs> I don't know how that even happens, but it just does. But yeah, I just go in, just do this, do a little bit of this, and then a little bit of this. Makes it much more smooth, more smooth. But for these, I'm gonna have to do this. Thankfully, once they start growing, it'll be a little bit better on my part. Also, I feel like they should have evened out a little bit. No, actually, no. They haven't evened out mainly because of the fact that I ran out of time on that day to water them. Not that it matters. You don't really have to water them the first day. They're pretty much okay. It's just, it's nice to get them watered. I'm totally fine with them being uneven, too, because it means I can actually get everything in one go versus having to get them the next day because I ran out of time. There we go, everything is watered. Just making sure, just do one little quick pass and we are good to go. So we're all set there. Let's just do the usual nonsense in here. Today is the third. I don't know why, I just need to keep reminding myself that which day it is. So there we go, we got that and you are good to go. Thank you. And then I'm gonna grab this. So I'm ready for the next day. Perfect. All right, let's go and eat some of my food or drink some of my drink, I guess, and go pray at the church. All right, and that's pretty much all today handled. So let's go to bed. Oh, there we go. And go to bed. All right, let's check things out. Tomorrow is going to be cold, sunny. And pick up my kitty. There we go. And let's check all my stats really quick. So, all the cows are healthy. We got healthy milk size L, healthy milk size L, healthy, as well as healthy. So these ones are gonna take a while, but the chickens are also all good to go. My food is good and we're all good to go. So, let's get started for the next day. Which is going to take some time indeed. It's gonna take some time to do this. So let me just go boop, and then the boop. I think this is gonna be a little bit, I say a little bit, but it's gonna be a lot more lucrative of the season just because of the fact that I have so much broccoli. I feel like having broccoli makes winter a little bit more of an easy mode because yes, the carrots do like not regrow and then you just buy more because you just got the profit anyway. I feel like regrowing crops makes it so you can just water them and then they just come back again. And the fact that they come back in two days, well, yes, you're not really making that much money. Two days is still not bad. It really isn't. That's like insane how much broccoli you can make. And the fact that I have seven versus six with this setup going on, it's one more extra, but it does add up. It's like one alone is like one whole seed bag. Well, in this case, two would make one whole seed bag, but yeah, like just the broccoli itself, just three of them, four of them would make one whole seed bag. I kind of mapped wrong there. Yeah, that goes pretty quickly, just watering everything. We're good to go there. So today is the fourth, so that means I sell both of them. So let's just go in here. Pick this up. Up to the end. And then sell you. 
and then sell you. When I forget to do this on the days that I get the shipment happened already and I forgot to do that, I just give them both of them and make them both happy, why not? But yeah, we're good there. Now let's go to town and go to the church and pray. All right, and that is pretty much it for today. I didn't really get a harvest just yet, but we did get a winter miracle, so I think that's all well and good. So I'm gonna head to bed today, because everything's all said and done. And today is the fifth of winter. Not bad, not bad indeed. So let's find out what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. It's cold every day, it'll snow tomorrow. I love her face. I just realized that's what her face is when she's like, you'll snow tomorrow. But yeah, let me just pick up my kitty for today. And next time Azure plays more Harvest Moon for the Game Boy Color, we're gonna experience our first winter harvest. And maybe then some. See you all then.